Hey, what is up guys? Hotshot here, and today I got a new video for you guys. This is going to be my PC build that I'll be using for gaming and streaming, and also editing as well. Bear in mind, this PC was built in the budget range of $1,200, so with $1,200, this is like all the high-end component parts I was able to get for a really good price. Now for the case, I went ahead and selected an NZXT S340. This case is really sturdy, solid. It's all, it has an all-seal body, has two USB 3.0 ports, and it came included with two 120 millimeter fans, which was nice. And for the power supply, I went ahead and selected EVGA 650G. This is a 650 watt power supply. It's fully module. It has Japanese capacitors. It's ultra quiet and 80 plus gold certified as well. I know it's the last generation model, but this is still a really good power supply and I got this for a hell of a good price a while back. So I couldn't say no to it, I had to get it. Now for the motherboard, I went ahead and picked up myself an ASUS Z97A. This is the one with the USB 3.1 port. I do a lot of data transferring, so those two extra 3.1 ports are gonna be really beneficial for me. Now this one was a fun one. For a video card, I went with the MSI GeForce GTX 970. This has 4GB of DDR5 RAM, the core is already clocked in at 1.14GHz by MSI, it's dead quiet, it runs super cool with these massive heat pipes that it has on the side allowing the GPU to be cool at all times. Now the CPU cooler I went ahead and chose a Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO, I went with the EVO because it has great reviews, it's best value, it's keeping me in the budget range that I'm comfortable in. And this thing performs really well and I do not regret on getting anything else. And I also went ahead and picked up myself some gold spray paint because why not? I want to do some personalization to this build. I don't want my build to look like everybody else's. Now for RAM, I selected a Core Star Vengeance Low Profile DDR3 8GB of RAM. Storage, I got myself a Barracuda from Seagate. It's 1TB, it has 7500 RPM. For thermal paste, I picked up the Arctic Silver 5. This part's totally optional. The one that came with the Cooler Master is just fine. For the bootable drive, I'll be using a Critical MX100 SSD. This is a 256GB SSD, which writing speed is around 3 to 500 megabytes and reading at 550 megabytes, what I've been seeing. For case fans, I picked up the Coarse Air white LED dual pack 120 millimeter fans for this case. So no thanks to NCIX, I picked up an Intel i7 4790K. It's a quad core 4 gigahertz processor, it has hyper threading and it's unlocked. Now back to the story about NCIX, NCIX was offering their anniversary sale on their website and then I noticed that the i7 4790K was on sale for $224, so of course I immediately bought that, checked out, ran out, credit card information, everything was correct. And the following day, uh, I get an email from NCIX saying they apologized, they cannot, they had to cancel my order because of their error on their pricing, blah blah blah, so I was, so I was like, wow, you guys won't even honor your prices. So, so NCIX.com, you guys are douchebags for not honoring your prices, even though it was your mistake. And Newegg.com, you guys are awesome for supporting this PC build by your great deals. Now back to the build. Here's the motherboard box. I will be using the box as a uh, placement to place the motherboard on top of it. This way it could prevent electricity conduction. So I don't shock the motherboard. That's a tip right there. So this is my first PC build. This is all new to me. So here's a little close up of like the CPU socket and all that. I never really knew how they looked like, and now I do. <laughs> All that sexy goodness. So I already placed the CPU in the CPU socket already, and this little cover just easily pops out. You want to save that, so if you have a defect, the manufacturer will want that as well. If you have to ship it back for any reason. Now for, for the CPU cooler, I won't be showing you this part because each every CPU cooler is different than the other so I'm just gonna skip ahead now here's the s340 case I was surprised how good looking it is except for the, the red trimming I didn't like the red trimming but thankfully for us I got the gold spray paint so I'm gonna be painting that gold to match the motherboard better so I already did the honors in the, removing the front panel so I'm about to remove the little red trimming right here from the front 
of the case. Now next is going to be this part. And it's just held by these screws that are on the outside of the case. So I already have everything placed out, laid down on this cardboard box I found. And this all here is just about to get ready to get spray painted. And that is the uh, ending result. I'm just going to be letting it dry for like 15 or 20 minutes. And shout out to Costco Pizza. Some good ass pizza. So while the paint's drying up, I took this time to install some components to the case. Such as the hard drives. The SSD is in this SSD bracket. The only thing I wish you could do with this case is flip it around. But this SSD has the screws on it away, so I can't do that. But whatever. The fans are installed, so pretty much just setting everything ready for the, heart, uh, the motherboard to get installed. So now the paint's finally dried up. I installed everything pro uh, back to this place. Everything looking good, no oversprays or anything like that. It's perfect. Really easy. That's installed. The little wire management hiding thing. It came out looking really good. I was really surprised. And it perfectly matches the uh, motherboard as well, which is a bonus. Because that paint, to be honest, I just guess I just got a random one in Home Depot. Now, when dropping the motherboard in, that little hole right there just easily slides it in. I had had to remove the exhaust fan though out of the way to make it easier. The power supply was super easy to install since it was fully module. All the, there's no cables in my way or anything like that. It just slides it in. So right now, all the wires are all connected. I'm about to test out the power and no lie that was my first attempt on powering up that PC. To be honest I thought it was gonna, something was going to go wrong. Like maybe I forgot to plug a wire or anything. I was shocked that it turned on the first attempt. But it was not all smoothly. I have messed up. The fans, they were, they were, they were facing the wrong way. <laughs> so instead of blowing air in, it was blowing air out so I quickly adjusted that. Now the wire management, this part was fun but with video editing I could do that in a jippy now there was one thing I didn't like about this build since the theme was black and gold that is black and red the GPU is black and red the computer and everything else is black and gold black and red yeah and I did try disassembling it see if I could take off the red covers and just spray paint it and see my paint in the case but uh I couldn't, so if you guys know how to do it, please leave a comment down in the comic section or section where I can find a tutorial how to do this. But uh, I did took it apart, it was just the LED, the side LED, I could not disconnect it. I didn't know how to disconnect it, so I didn't want to break anything, so I just left it as it is. So there's the finished PC with everything put in together, all the wires are connected properly, all the wire management has been done. Which really didn't took me that long, so this isn't that bad for my first PC attempt. So that's the best I could do. I'm pretty sure over time I'll adjust the wires even more. So there she is in all her glory. The paint color scheme that I did, the personalization with the black and gold looks really good. I just gotta do that something about that GPU later on in the future I'm planning on to. But this was a fun PC build. Now in the description I will leave a link to, from PCPickers.com showing you guys all the parts, all the components, the prices that I paid for the parts. And if you're planning on building a PC like this, and uh, you have a budget, I recommend being patient, because this did took me over a month to get every part right and such. So I just waited on deals, and every whenever there was a sell, I just bought it. Now, I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like if you like it. Please comment down below. If you want to see more PC builds like this one, because I am planning on building another one, the next PC build will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. So be sure you're subscribed, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Peace.